Today on WFMS, we have important information for 8th graders interested in attending a magnet school next year. Details for those planning to attend the performance of Greece are coming your way as well. If you're interested, we will discuss what you should do if you're planning to purchase a yearbook this year. We have information for those who tried out for the track team, so stay tuned. And we will give you the details for helping those in need and giving a sweet treat at the same time. WFMS News, the Admiral Announcement Network, starts now. Welcome back, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Cameron. And I'm Danan. Welcome to your home for news, announcements, and more on WFMS. Now for some quick announcements. If you are planning on ordering a yearbook, you will want to listen up. Yearbooks are on sale now, and there is a link on our website and in Mr. Edmund's parent emails, so make your parents aware. The only way to guarantee a book is to pre-order. Are you ready to step back in time to the 1950s? Would you like to hear some great music? Well, you're in luck. The FMS Duty Theater Performance of Greece will be next week, February 16th through 18th. We hope you will plan to attend. Eighth graders, listen up. KCS Magnet High Schools will be presenting their programs to eighth grade students on Thursday, February 10th, which is tomorrow. The presentation will take place during Related Arts. FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, meets every Tuesday from 7.50 until 8.20 in the Studio Theater. There will be games, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. TFC, Teens for Christ, will meet every Wednesday from 7.50 until 8.20 in the Studio Theater. There will be games, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. This week, the FMS Honor Society will be selling lollipops for Valentine's Day to raise money for Suzanne's house. Lollipops are $1 and can be purchased before school this week and will be delivered to students in homeroom on Monday, February 14th. That's it for announcements. Now for a quick weather view. Hi, I'm Caleb. And I'm Aiden. Now for a weather update. Temperatures have risen to above average this week but they will begin tumbling later this weekend. Yesterday was a beautiful day with sunny skies. It will still be a bit chilly with highs in the low 50s, but it was comfortable. You will be able to continue to see your breath every morning and shed some layers each afternoon through the next few days. Today, as with the rest of this week, we can expect a mostly sunny day with milder temperatures and highs in the middle 50s. The lows will dip into the lower 30s tonight, so have a jacket handy if you are in or out of practice. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with highs in the lower to middle 50s, which is a slight warm-up. Our lows will hover near the freezing mark in the lower 30s tomorrow night. Friday will be a sunny but cool day. The weekend will bring change from this cool and sunny pattern and we'll, that we have seen this week. We will enjoy the next couple of days and we will update you again on Friday. Now for a quick sports brief. I'm Neanne. And I'm Evelyn. Now for a quick sports update. Those of you that tried out for track, listen up. Track results will be posted on Friday. Again, track results will be posted on Friday. Girls should check in with Coach Archer's room, blue 5152. And the boys should check in in Coach Cav's room, blue 151. Please, before leaving school on Friday. The first practice will be held on Monday, and athletes should change and report to the assigned coach's room at the dismissal bell. That's it for sports, short and sweet. Now back to the news desk. We want to continue to remind our coaches, club sponsors, and event organizers to listen up. If you have games, competitions, events, or practices, please submit your announcements by email to Mr. Hambrick at chris.hambrick at knoxschools.org. And please make sure to submit those requests 24 hours ahead of the needed announcement date. Also, please put the word announcement in the subject line. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admiral's News Network. We hope you have a great day and evening. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And, and we, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.